Are you ready to do our nature walk? Yeah. <laughs> what can you see? Uh, you're far, far away, Mum. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stefan can't just come for a normal woodland walk. He has to bring <laughs> this beast. He's so nervous. <laughs> Whoa. You know what, well, first thing we should do, bird spotting. Do you want to do some bird spotting? Yeah. Okay. I can hear some up can there. You hold yeah, I hold that. Looks like I'm high up. <sighs> Hello. Hi, <laughs> See any birds? Mm -hmm. Oh, careful. We could look for an owl, can't we? I think Daddy said he was going to make a bird's nest with you. I don't know if I can make a bird's nest, can I? I wouldn't have a clue what I was doing. Look what that says. It says, keep your eyes peeled. Shaking branches, falling leaves and flashes of movement in the undergrowth are all signs of wildlife. <laughs> We can try and find it. Yeah. We can go on an adventure. Yeah, you lead the way because you've got the map. You ready? Should we go? Afternoon. Rue is asleep. Grayson is at his little holiday club, which he was so excited to go to today. He actually said to me yesterday, Mummy, I want to go to holiday club now. And I was like, What? Don't you like hanging out with me? And he's like, mm, Just a bit boring. And I was like, I've tried so hard to entertain you. I was a bit insulted. I was a bit sad about that. <laughs> Primark um, because one of the girls that I follow on YouTube did a haul recently and she found this shirt which I keep coming in to check if they've got it in my size because I love it and it's like £10 and they never have my size it's so annoying I really want it it's like one that I saw in anthropology it's like a complete rip off of it but they don't have it in my size again I have to come back another time it's so busy in here I was like oh I'll have a nice peaceful look around Primark and forgot that it was Easter holidays this is rumoured to be the best coffee in Bath, yeah? I can't remember if she said the coffee or the croissants. There's one place she said for coffee and one place she said for croissants. Yeah, definitely yeah. coffee. Hello, cutie. You're eating a plate. <sighs> Just chewing on a plate. He looks like one of those um, African women who wear those plates in their hair. Uh, <laughs> it's bizarre what is fast in different cultures. Mm. It's beautiful, isn't it? Because yeah. that would be beautiful in you know, some cultures. In some countries, you'd be considered really ugly. <laughs> 
the trouble not dating. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's Death's prime chat. I wouldn't use that line on you for the You said you hate it when I try and be funny Cause every joke I make is coming out running wrong Try to apologise and put it on my tab What do you think you're going to be when you grow up, Wolfa? I reckon you're going to be... I reckon you're going to be an actor. An actor. A, a very well-spoken actor. That's what I think you'll be. Alexa, shut up. Alexa, stop. Alexa, stop. For goodness sake. Why does she always do this? <laughs> I was in my friend Laura's shop earlier on just having a little chat and she had this on in the background in her shop and I was like, yes, this song. I remember being about nine or something when this came out and I loved it so I thought I'd have a bit of a guilty pleasure sing along in the car on the way to go and get Grayson there's a good bit coming up you just want to touch everything don't you here you go um what can I give you that's safe there you go don't touch the screen don't touch my phone don't touch that card look I've got this for you look this here there you go touch that straight in your mouth so anyway, what are you thinking about life so far, Misty? Enjoying it? It's pretty pretty peachy for you right now, isn't it? Just putting stuff in your mouth and getting a boob in your face. Pretty much every man's dream. <coughs> and, unless you're homosexual. Then you wouldn't want a boob in your mouth. You'd want a big cock in your mouth. Thank God you can't understand a word I'm saying, hey? But let's do like we used to do in the old days. Three, two, one. Gracie! How, how was your holiday club today? Fun. Fine. I didn't play with Charlie. You didn't play with Charlie? I think Grayson had a little falling out with somebody called Charlie. But um, yeah, we're gonna head home now. You've got mac and cheese tonight, yes. I've got a new method of carrying your brother up the stairs yeah. after dinner. Oh boy! I um, just pre-warn you, is very, very oh, tired. Tired. Would you have a good day? What happened? I don't. Oh, Charlie didn't What did Charlie do? Sometimes when I get tired, I get really sad about everything. You know, sometimes I cry for no reason. That's because I'm tired. <laughs> evening um the boys are both in bed and it's really early actually we'll go, i'm going out for dinner early so i can come home early because i'm a loser but yeah it'll be really nice we haven't seen each other for ages so i'm not sure how much i will vlog but i thought i would take you anyway and yeah just do a little bit of filming because i never go out so <laughs> it might be fun this is such an old school vlog shot stuff <laughs> menu is so good that Laura's genuinely doing it dip do. <laughs> Just had a phone call from Grayson's playgroup place saying that he's had his first physical altercation with another child. Apparently they've scratched each other's chests. Kids honestly can be savages. Any parent that's ever survived a soft play will know what I'm talking about. Some of these kids are just off the scale crazy. You need to call a, call a priest in to deal with these type of kids. They are just demonic, dead behind the eyes. It's just too far gone. You can't train them. They're just like completely out of this world. They live in a different place altogether. 
a, a world of chaos. But the only thing you think when you see these kids, the only thing you think is, thank God that isn't our kid. Thank God. Anyway, so I'm gonna have a chat with him when he gets back and make sure that it wasn't him that started the physical altercation. I'm happy if he defended himself, but I won't be so happy if he was the first one that lashed out. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> Look at you sitting up. You're hungry and tired, huh? This is a 50 millimeter lens. It's my favorite lens. I'll show you why it's my favorite lens, because it makes things look like this. Anyway, there's a new kid in town which is supposed to be even better than the 50 mil, which I find really difficult to believe. So I emailed Canon and I said, look, you've just released this new lens. Can I potentially borrow it? And they were like, yeah, sure. We'll send you one for two weeks. Have a play, see what you think. And this is it here. The 85 millimeter 1.4 with image stabilization built in which the 50 doesn't have. Grayson is at um, his holiday club for the last day today, and so I thought I'd take the opportunity to wash this thing. Who remembers this? <laughs> he still loves it. Three and a half years later, he's still obsessed with it, and it's like literally got holes in it and just dying a really slow death, but he just loves it. So for the next couple of days, let's switch over to the 80, 85 mil, have a play. See if you notice a difference. I thought I'd just show you guys this because it's really cute. <laughs> You're waving at yourself. <laughs> you waving at yourself, clever boy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who's that? Grace has got a new lens, 85mm, what do you think? What are you talking about? It is actually stunning. Clap, 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 Grayson, tell me about the fight, what happened? He's, I scratched him back because he, look. I can see the scratches. So who scratched who first? Oscar did. Oscar scratched you first. And then you scratched him back. Was that your first ever fight in the whole world? It's a place that we can go and walk around and there's lots of nice things to look at. Nice. We can run around and play chasing. Yeah. 
I love how when you see parrots walking around, they always just look slightly fed up. You know what I mean? It's got that little fed upness about them. That like, oh, for f sake, I'm so done with this. I didn't say it. I said, I said. Yeah, don't teach him that one. No, right, okay. All right, I'll take my warning. Oh, look at these two little skater boys. He's wearing a bum bag stuff. Told you I was cool. Yeah, he's like nine. <laughs> Try not to wear too much black at the moment, and it's so hard. Everything in my wardrobe is black. You do you, always look like you're mourning. But if you wear black... I usually black, always am. <laughs> mourning your previous lives. If you wear black, Mum, you look like a werewolf, and I love when I look like a werewolf. <laughs> We're going for a walk in the botanical gardens today because it's really nice outside. Totally forgot it was Easter again then. We got here and we were like, why is it so busy? But yeah, Rufus is awake for once, which is quite nice. Normally he falls asleep on all our outings, but he's up, yay! Thank you, We're not really supposed to pick flowers in here, but at least it's a weed. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'll keep it forever, I promise. energy out my friend <laughs> Three, three. Three's got Gracie's old um, leggings on today and I loved these so much when Grayson used to wear them hello hello so it's nice seeing them on Rufus as well you've chewed all your bunny ear up yuck really wiped his face but he's just woken up so he didn't really want to put a cold wipe on your face. Hello chicken. He's got dried bogeys on his forehead now. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Sorry I um, <laughs> look so unglamorous you today. Look, I can amazing, not be sure. bothered to put makeup on today. It's one of those home days, Grayson's not very well so I was just like, no point. Don't hiss at me. Um, yeah this is the new 85mm lens which I have s fallen in love with so deeply, I can't even explain to you how deeply in love with this lens I am. So thanks to Canon for lending it to me. Oh, you. You're supposed to be sick. Somehow you've got a new lease of life. Calm down. And this is why Prosecco exists. <laughs> so I guess we will see you all next week. Thank you very much for getting to the end. Yay! Can I watch my cartoon now? Can you up, please? Bye, guys. Love you all. Don't have sex, guys. <laughs>